There was a climate change headline today from some of the nation's top scientists saying we should brace ourselves for less snow but more blizzards. So what does that mean? ABC's David Curley explains. It doesn't seem to make sense. Blistering blizzards. It was up during the middle of the night and it looked like a blizzard outside. Shoveling your sidewalk, you may be asking, this is global warming? I'm ready for spring. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely sick of winter. <laughs> Even yes. the comics are getting in on the snow show. Global warming is a total hoax, and I'll tell you how I know. Because it's cold today where I live. But new studies confirm what scientists have been saying. We will get less snow. Rutgers scientists have now documented a million square mile decline of snow cover over nearly 50 years. And a new study from Princeton scientists predicts global snowfall over the next 50 years will shrink more than a foot. In the U.S., a 30 to 70 percent drop in snow by the end of this century. But when we do get snow, watch out. Every once in a while, there's going to be a big storm, a kind of knockout punch. Bigger blizzards but less snow? Scientists say that's because a warmer atmosphere can hold a lot more moisture, sucking it up from the oceans. Most of it will come down as rain, but when it does get cold enough, it will turn into snow, a lot of it, and we can get hit by a monster storm. One of these studies and its predictions is based on computer models, and some wonder how good are those models? But climatologists say the weather patterns are already changing. So get out your snow shovels, snowstorms with two or three feet that used to seem highly unusual, that may in fact become more typical. Bigger storms, less snow overall, a new reality. David Curley, ABC News, Washington.